When delivered the right way, at the right time, criticism can be highly motivating. Without being aware of the mistakes he or she is making, no one can possibly improve. But at the same time, in the wrong circumstances, negative feedback can backfire. Based on research we've been following at the Columbia Business School's Motivation Science Center, psychologists now understand better than ever which employees are motivated by criticism and which employees need praise. Let me tell you about some of the fascinating research in this area. In one study, Stacy Finkelstein and Eilat Fischbach looked at people engaging in environmentally friendly actions. The experts were members of environmental organizations like Greenpeace, while the novices were non-members. Each participant in the study made a list of the actions they regularly took that helped the environment. They were then offered feedback from an environmental consultant on how effective those actions were. And given the option of asking for negative feedback, which actions were a waste of time, or positive feedback, which actions were most effective. Experts were much more likely to choose the negative feedback than novices. But there's a final twist. The researchers assigned one set of subjects to randomly receive either positive or negative feedback, regardless of their preference. When negative feedback was given, experts gave more money to Greenpeace than novices. And when positive feedback was given, novices gave far more money than experts. The style of feedback directly translated into results. Use positive feedback if you want to improve an employee's commitment. For instance, if one of your people seems to be disengaged or slacking off, you might be tempted to criticize him. But no one has ever been nagged into higher engagement or drive. Instead, find something he's doing well and praise it. That positive reinforcement will improve his motivation more than a lecture on what he's doing wrong. Positive feedback increases commitment by making work more enjoyable and increasing confidence. Positive feedback is also good for novices. It boosts confidence and helps them feel more at ease with the challenges they're facing. Of course, there are times when you need to give someone negative feedback. If your employee already more or less knows what he's doing, it's negative feedback that will help him get to the top of his game. People who already have developed some knowledge and skills don't actually live in fear of negative feedback. If anything, they seek it out. Intuitively, experts realize that negative feedback offers the key to getting ahead, while positive feedback merely tells them what they already know. Now, just to be clear, I'm not suggesting that you never tell the rookie about his mistakes or that you never praise the seasoned professional for her outstanding work. And of course, negative feedback should always be accompanied by good advice and given with tact. But I am suggesting that piling on praise is a more effective motivator for the rookie than the pro. And I'm saying point blank that you shouldn't worry so much when it comes to pointing out mistakes to someone experienced. Negative feedback won't crush their confidence and it just might give them the information they need to take their performance to the next level.